Welcome to Blues Rock Weekly, your source for what's going on in the world of Blues Rock. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with what's going on in the genre. Black Country Communion is back in the studio recording its fifth studio album, BCC5, at Sunset Sound in Hollywood. The supergroup featuring Glenn Hughes, Joe Bonamassa, Jason Bonham, and Derek Sherinian have not released an album since 2017's BCC4. Glenn Hughes shared an update on social media saying, 10 tracks recorded in the heart of Hollywood, California. There's a lot of love and an abundance of magical music being made. Derek Sheridan confirmed on his social media that the band wrapped up recording after a week in the studio. Eric Clapton has a new music video out for a previously unreleased performance of Key to the Highway. The live recording is from 1991 at the Royal Albert Hall and is from the definitive 24 Nights out June 23rd. The definitive 24 Nights features nearly six hours of live music and 36 unreleased performances. Watch the video for Key to the Highway at bluesrockreview.com. Robert, John, and The Wreck have announced the release of their new album, Ride Into the Light, on August 7th. The eight-song album features tracks produced by Joe Bonamassa, Josh Smith, Don Was, and Dave Cobb. The band has released a music video for its new single, West Coast Eyes. About the song, frontman Robert John Burson said, quote, We met with the legendary Tom Hambridge, who's written songs with a lot of great artists. A few weeks later, we went into Sunset Sound in LA with Joe Bonamassa and Josh Smith as our producers. It evolved into a bit of a tribute to the LA session musician scene through the years combining elements from a few different decades and wound up being a really fun sonic experiment. Watch the music video at bluesrockreview.com. UK-based blues rockers Albany Down will release their new album, Born in the Ashes, on September 1st. The band's 2016 album, The Outer Reach, was voted number five on Blues Rock Review's Top 20 Albums of 2016. About the album, guitarist and vocalist Paul Turley said, quote, We all came to the band with different but related musical influences. I wanted to build on those and write and play music that was all our own and contemporary. You can see the music video for the first single, Always Want What You Can't Have, at bluesrockreview.com. Well, that's the Week in Blues Rock. Let us know down in the comments section below what you're listening to this week. A lot of great music coming out. Joanna Connor and Selwyn Birchwood just released albums and a lot of good stuff on the way. So let us know down in the comments section below what you're listening to and what you're looking forward to. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode of Blues Rock Weekly. And please hit the like button. It really helps push the video into more people's feeds. And we want to get Blues Rock out to as many people as possible, and your support really helps us do that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Blues Rock Weekly.